both both lines were um, you know further impressive. That's a stout offense and defensive line that Utah has. Our guys battled hard and to run the ball, and I thought we were pretty effective running it at times. Uh, probably didn't throw it, pass protect as much as we'd like, but um, you know, we'll go back and take a look at that tape and see where we go from here. Chris, it took a hot return to win this game for yeah. us. Talk about kind of the momentum shift and everything that happened around there. Well, I think we were, we were on it. We talked a lot about tackling. We talked a lot about turnovers. We talked a lot about special teams this week. And all that stuff showed up loud and clear. Um, you know, it's awesome uh, for Dante to get that done then because that, that, that butter's having like fun. He's a weapon. And we could get nothing. He just kept driving his back, driving his back. And um, we probably feel a little time he shouldn't have. And then he lets it go, and the guy's inside the five. And he's really, really good. And you know, we finally got our chance, and Dante made a couple guys miss. Um, hats off to him. Uh, the special team showed up. Cam came through on a clutch kick. Um, Turnover thing showed up. Um, you know, that pick that hurt us, put our defense, although uh, I think our defense kind of swelled up and did a nice job until we had a couple of stupid penalties. I think those two penalties really, really hurt us. Uh, we could have got off the field twice and didn't. And I think they put us on the And, uh, and tackling showed up. You know, that's a physical offensive line with a really good running back to go behind it. You know, keeps things alive, stays behind the line. You know, we have a couple guys wrapping him up. As far as the, the penalties go, is that something you address this week more than usual, just with, with Troy out there and those guys knowing him? It seemed like that showed up. There. Yeah, that showed up on the one on the goal line for sure. And that was, uh, you know, that was not good. And, uh, you know, disappointing. I thought he'd have a little more poison than that. Um, looking at Jake Brown and his pass and you know, his 12 completions, 10 of them went for 10 or more yards, 8 of them went for 15 or more yards. Mm -hmm. what, what does he do so effectively to allow us him to, to not only get the conditions, but to the chunk plays and so many, such a high percentage? We've been fairly effective all, all season long, throwing the ball downfield and getting, you know, not, those, not just quick game type completions. I thought Utah did a great job with their, with their coverage. You know, they, you know, they were pretty adamant that it wasn't. They, we were going to come here and throw for a lot of yards. And they disguised things. They changed some stuff. The pass rush was good. They did a really good job with that. Chris, you fell behind just for the second time this year. Can you talk about the way the team reacted to that same game? Can you march right back down to score? Yeah. Um, you know, this, is, this to me is the real football. Um, back ball for ball. You know, we came in at halftime and they were angry and, and uh, you know, kind of had that look in their, their eye. And I just want to make sure it was the right look. You know, this, this is how it goes. I mean, you get grinded out in the fourth quarter. I mean, having games, huge leads in the first half, we've been fortunate with that, but I don't think that's how it goes from here on out. So we need to learn to do it and play, play with boys and tight games. Second half was, was better, although we, we did have another one. We had to see it on tape. We had him off the field, we had a penalty, and keep the light. Coach, you were missing the tape that week. Yeah. Like I said, it just Nick took his place. Yeah. So I think there was a three way rotation going in there with Shane Brostick, uh, Andrew Kirkland, and Nick Harris. And uh, you know, it was hard. I mean, Nick was a senior offensive lineman who's played a lot of football for us. It's kind of like the pillars in there. But I thought those guys, you know, got some great work against the quality, quality defensive line. I'm anxious to put the tape on it. I really don't know how they did. Um, you know, we'll, we'll get Jake back. Uh, it's nothing super serious, but I don't know if we'll have him next week. We'll see when we get back. Can you talk about the running game? It's just see the game can go. Yeah. And I think a lot of that was due to you know, Miles. I mean, Miles made it uh, get going. I thought our line did a pretty good job. Um, for a, a couple of rooms were blocked pretty clean, but a couple of them weren't. And I thought Miles was kind of back to his little bag of tricks of kind of making guys miss and spinning out of things. And, and I thought LeBron ran really hard, too. I thought that was a you know, good combination. Is this a game where Joe Mathis' absence kind of showed up a little I think it does. I think it does. You know, he's, a, he's an explosive pass rusher. And, uh, you know, we miss him. I'm not sure what 
So some of you are really excited about the rankings from that. <laughs> 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 All right, thanks everybody.